So in our first episode, we talked about if we get astray, what we can do. Remember, it's a group effort. It's the rescues, it's everybody's responsibility to try and save this animal. Cat, dog, whatever kind of animal. If you are able to get this pet into your car, if you're able to save it, be wary because we don't know how long this animal has been on the street. We don't know if he's got worms. We don't know if he's got sores, chewing on himself, all sorts of things. So if you're able to inspect the dog, number one, you gotta be careful because some of this stuff is highly contagious. There's ringworms that dogs can get that you can get as a human, okay? There's all sorts of other things that comes with, unfortunately, rescuing a dog and not knowing what's on the animal. But if you're able to save this dog, number one, it's really important that you take it to a vet and if you can't take it to a vet, okay, because you can't afford to pay for all these things just for them to inspect, do the right thing, at least take them to the shelter. At least they could get seen by a doctor there if it's, you know, has heartworms or if it's so far gone that this animal has to be humanely euthanized. At least you've done your part. But in all, we as a group, all have to do our part in trying to save this animal and doing the right thing by them. Okay, let's recap. Number one, if you're able to get this stray into your car, this is what you need to look for. First, we're gonna take a look at the skin. We wanna make sure that the dog does not have any ringworms or anything that's contagious to you. Now, just be clear, if you do find ringworms or any kind of thing on the dog, you are taking a risk of getting this, okay? So you have to use precaution. Make sure when you get this animal, try to use, if you have rope or if you have a, a leash in your car, that you use to slip it on their head so there's not a lot of contact just in case it does have something on them. So don't forget, if you slip a lead on the dog, most of the time it will follow you. You know, if you wanna walk back and forth for a few minutes so it's comfortable before you place them in the car. So next, let's talk about costs. Obviously, the dog is gonna to have to go to the vet when you rescue it. If you have the funds to help this dog, that is amazing. What a, a lifesaver you would be when you do this before it goes to the rescue. If not, then you need to take this animal to the shelter. As a rescue, I understand sometimes we want to save everybody, but that's not always the case. You might save this animal, but because it has so many medical issues that are not to the human eye that this poor pet might have to be euthanized. So if you take this dog off the street and you're able to get it vetted and everything and you're reaching out to a rescue, I myself, people call me all the time, all day long, Donna, can you help? Yes, I can help if you can foster. Fostering is such a key to saving animals. And since this pet already knows you because you've picked it up off the street, even makes it better for this animal to be in a safe place. I wanna leave you guys with this, okay? I know sometimes that the animal looks like he's good, he, there's no issues, but deep down, there might be internal pain that they're going through that us as the human eye can't see. So dogs, or just animals in general, are really good at pushing down their pain because we as people don't see it. And the reason I'm telling you this is because there are sometimes animals just don't express what they're feeling. They could be just laying there, lethargic. These are signs that dogs are, you know, in general are not well and probably needs to be seen by a vet. I just want you to take this into consideration. When you rescue dogs, sometimes we don't know the internal issues that they have. And it could be a silent killer, you know, heartworms. I've had dogs who I've rescued and brought in, and the next thing you know, after all the comfort and love and everything I gave her, just overnight. And I think it was because of the compassion that I showed for her when she slept. She woke up. She didn't wake up the next morning, broke my heart.
But, you know, had I known the suffering she had, things might have been different. But she was so happy that she was off the streets and she wasn't hungry anymore and she had a place to lay her head. But at the end of the day, I cared. And it's important for me to express this to my people who foster and rescue that all of us have to care and do our part in trying to save these, these animals out there.